welcome back. This segment is sponsored by Michigan State Federal Credit Union. It is time once again for Friday's Friend. Joining us this morning from the Humane Society of West Michigan Marketing and Communications Coordinator, Brianna. Hey, Bri. Hi, Todd. Uh, today's friend, is, did I hear right, is Tiger? Is that the name? Yes, that's right. Tiger is her name and it suits her very well. She's a stripy spitfire, uh, a little tiny tigress. Um, Tiger has lots of energy. She's only one years old, so she's got a lot of life ahead of her. She loves to play. She's also just a cat with a lot of personality, so she likes to climb up on shoulders. Uh, she'll give you lots of headbutts. Um, she likes chasing lawn toys, and that's, I think, her absolute favorite, you know, feeling like a tiger hunting in the jungle. Um, and this active young lady will have lots of, uh, she'd love to have lots of room to roam in her new home and uh, may even enjoy a feline friend to play with. So uh, we are really hoping Tiger finds a home soon. She's been waiting at our shelter for way too long and she is such a sweet pea. You got to come out and see her. Wow, those rings around her neck, those markings, those are pretty striking. That's a cat. That's a cool yeah, looking kitty. Yeah, she's a beautiful cat. She really is. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got to uh, once again thank Bissell. Uh, this empty the shelters thing that they've been doing now for the past, well, years now, has really made an impact. Yes, that's right. I mean, Empty the Shelters is amazing. We love uh, Bissell always supporting not only us, but other shelters all over the nation, um, getting lots of animals homes that they might not have found otherwise. Yeah, it's so good that when they host these events and the good that it does, so many thousands of animals finding their forever homes. But that means there's more space for more animals to come into the Humane Society. And you just received some of those beagles. If, if people have missed this story, can you recap this beagle rescue? Yes, definitely. So if your viewers have not heard yet, um, there was a very large beagle rescue that happened down in Virginia. There was a medical testing facility um, called Invigo that was literally breeding these dogs to be used in animal testing. Um, they had over 4,000 dogs in their care and they were living in horrible conditions. They lived in cages. They never went outside. Um, there was mold in their food. There was it was just really dirty, filthy. It was really sad for them. So um, because they uh, violated so, so many animal welfare uh, acts, the Humane Society of the United States was actually able to go in and rescue all 4,000 of those dogs, which was definitely an undertaking, but very exciting. Um, and then from there, they transferred a lot of those dogs out to other shelters all over the nation. And we are one of the lucky few. Uh, you can see in some of these pictures, those were the beagles that we went down to pick up. This past Sunday, we sent our transport van down. It was really exciting. Our staff arrived on Monday ready to pick up beagles. And then the AC in our van wasn't working. So we thought on our feet, uh, went and got it fixed. So then Tuesday morning, we were able to actually go pick up 25 adorable beagles. Um, our awesome volunteers got there around 8 a.m. And then they got back to Michigan around 4 a.m. So it was oh, wow. a really, really long drive. Um, but they were checking on the beagles, making sure everybody had water, comfy blankets to lay on. Um, and the beagles were so excited when they got here. Uh, we've had some photos that we shared with you right there of those dogs in the run. Um, they are enjoying their time outside, playing with toys. Um, some are a little bit shyer than others, but they're all just so, so happy to be outside, to be living lives and to be being dogs. So wow. um, we are so thrilled we were able to give these dogs a second chance. Um, and it's just a wonderful, heartwarming story. It really is. It really is a heartwarming story, Bree, to be able to. And, and if you adopt one of these pets, boy, you know for a fact what that story is, how these dogs were being bred for medical testing or for whatever type of testing they were doing on them. Uh, it's saved from that, and so you gave that dog that forever home. What a story that people could get involved in. I have a soft spot for beagles, i got to be honest. One of my favorite breeds They're out there. Really They're really sweet really, dogs. They, they really, really are. are. Um, and we are so looking forward to helping rehabilitate them, give them all the medical and behavioral care that they need, um, and then they will become available for adoption. So we're just sort of doing it on a case-by-case -case basis. Some of the dogs are a little shyer than others, may need more socialization and time to adjust before they become ready for adoption. Um, but we'll oh. definitely be reaching out to all the people that applied. We have currently over 400 applications, oh which is goodness, overwhelming, Brie. but amazing. <laughs> um, we are so grateful for all That's the support getting involved, we've Brie. Well, as always, if you want and, more um, information, you can always go to hswestmi.org. Sorry, Bree, we just ran short of time, but we'll make sure people get to the website and get all the information they need. Thanks so much for your time this morning, and thank you for watching.